So now we're going to look at a specific category of area, an area known as brownfield, brownfield sites. What is a brownfield site? According to the HSC, a brownfield site is an area of land that was previously developed, often but not always for industrial and commercial purposes. It may be contaminated due to asbestos being laid buried on the actual site. Now, that definition is directly from the HSE. So if we consider the UK and think of the industrial uh, air, times that we've gone through with our mines, our mills, our really developed areas, and a lot of these times, industrial times have changed. So now we have a lot of derelict buildings with a lot of demolition. Now we have a lot of areas being currently redeveloped well a lot of those previous areas before the the impetus was put on asbestos and asbestos being uh, disposed of correctly a lot of these areas would just get bulldozed and as you could understand then we're going to end up with lots of asbestos buried in the ground so the photographs you can see here it looks like we got some asbestos matting asbestos material on the left hand side and then we can see the the specific and specialised asbestos contractors who are wearing their full PPE um, looking to remove asbestos from the soil. So a couple of things we really have to take in. We need to find out from the local authority if we're actually on a brownfield site. You know, this should be done before any site is taken over. Obviously, think of pre-construction information. But if you do end up raising that question, a location to go to get that answer would be from the local authority. Following on from that, then it would obviously be good practice to sample the soil before digging on into a brownfield site. Any suspicious material that would be found, then that would obviously then require analysis for asbestos. And just to remember that even if that individual sample doesn't contain asbestos, it may still be present in the location. Some of the key points for brownfield sites. Asbestos may still lay buried there, but won't show up on any conveyance documents contained with any pre-construction information. Very good practice, as already stated, to sample the ground before excavating. Suspicious materials should always be analysed and you may need to use a HSC licensed contractor for asbestos removal, but also maintain records as part of your management plan. At all times, you're going to need to, you may need to sort of evidence to the HSC that you've kept your, your control up to date. You could have kept records of the site. People have been trained and people know how to identify asbestos should there be a risk of them working in an area where it is.